Hello, so in contrast with the last video I did on metal versus narcissism, I wanted to talk about the concept of humility uh, because I think it comes from uh, the opposite side of the same spectrum in that you can utilize both narcissism and humility to manipulate an audience. And as we've talked about before, metalheads do not like feeling taken advantage of and we don't like disingenuousness. Uh, before I had talked about the narcissistic attributes happening in metal with the modern metal scene and with uh, frontmen such as David Vincent having that over-the-top rock persona which appeals to more of the general public than what a frontman in a metal band normally would. Uh, in talking about humility we have that that same kind of aspect where now we can manipulate people on uh, that, that have a different sense of how they interpret human interaction. Uh, whereas before, you can draw people in with an intense persona, and now, with humility, we can draw people in with victimhood. Uh, and if anything, metalheads don't like wimpiness. We don't like the idea that there is an outside force controlling us and that we are victims. Uh, that doesn't prescribe to our, our notion of how uh, how our us against the world dynamic works. Uh, we like to be able to have the sense that we can change things and that we can not be under someone else's thumb and that we can acknowledge the world for the steaming pile of bullshit it is without feeling that we have no say in how to interpret or change that. Um, you can look at early in Cataclysm's uh, discography. They went from sorcery and temple of knowledge to victims of this fallen world. And if you were following the band at the time, there was a huge outlash, or a backlash based on uh, not just the material, but the cover art. The initial cover art for the record, they decided to change it, uh, was just some loser sitting on a curb with like a bottle of booze and a bag. Uh, this is a far cry from the uh, like otherworldliness that Cataclysm was trying to portray before, and it did not, metalheads did not identify with this. If, if you're going to try to lure people in, you have to present a dynamic that metalheads will identify with, but by pushing that image out, it, it, it was clear that they were trying to get a hold of the general public, maybe some of the new metal crew, uh, people that, you know, play the victim and are more entrenched in uh, just trivialities of modern life, uh, stuff that Cataclysm did not ever express before. Uh, a band like Grave. Uh, Grave went, uh, they're, if you're familiar with the band, uh, they're, they're kind of like a B-tier Swedish death metal band. Uh, and in about 1996 or so, uh, they had a vocalist change and they went from having your typical metal dynamic talking about killing people and being obsessed with death and shit like that to uh, putting out a record that was essentially focused on unrequited love and the making making the speaker of that band homicidal uh and it was it was very misogynistic uh but it was just it was rooted in the human experience of loss of love and there's a lot of woe is me going on in the lyrics and that came across in the presentation of the album people hated that album uh it, it's one of those things where metal people that flock to metal obviously are looking for something deeper than the most superficial elements of human existence and if you're going to make a death metal record about some chick not liking you and you feeling mad enough to kill someone over it it's it's more ridiculous than the most over the top uh you know kind of material that maybe has to do with the occult even though the stuff with the occult to me i think is a little silly metal is trying to present you with harsh realities and if you're going to delve into the occult you have something that's not proven so it's kind of silly to me but at least that is something bigger than the human experience and the idea of being jilted as a lover it's fucking silly you don't want to put on a metal record and hear that shit uh, a band like sentenced going from you know shadows of the past north from here and then doing i don't know like a six album stint of shit rock with all the lyrics being about uh being suicidal over a, a girl, you know, shit like that, is doesn't resonate with people that are into metal. We don't like that sense of humility, that sense of weakness, that sense of being controlled by someone else. 
whether it's the outside world and how you feel like you don't have a voice in it to uh, trivial things like uh, having a girl not like you, all of that shit is too silly to be a focus in metal. And you see a lot of that in the current mindset for how people are trying to belong to the genre. Uh, if you look at any of the comments in these uh, YouTube guitar player videos, all of them are debasing themselves to the player based on their techniques. All of them are like, I wish I could play like you, I'm gonna throw my guitars away, uh, I could never have that speed, I could never have whatever. That is a sense of humility that does not belong in the metal genre and it's showing me that you are trying to make a name for yourself on technique alone and you're seeing someone that is better than you and uh, better at technique than you and you're willing to throw in the towel. That That is a, a, such a silly perspective to have if you're trying to become part of the metal genre. You should have a statement to make first, something that is drawing you to perform music that's bigger than I just want to be good at guitar because this guy with his 17,000 followers online is good at guitar and I want to have that same thing. Uh, that's a sense of humility that also doesn't appeal to the metal fan, the metal listener. We can point it out as weakness because it's it's the need to fit in. That kind of timid, I hope that I could be part of this genre aspect is an instant turnoff. It's it's the other the, the other side of the narcissistic element presented in the last video where you feel like you're too weak, too frail, and too wimpy to belong in this genre. So you're going to dip your toe in the water, try to get good at the technique to further the, uh, uh, a musical consciousness for a statement that you don't have. All of that weakness is anti-metal. It's, it's nothing that we want to see in the genre. And if they do develop a, a song, a record, or anything coming from that, that uh, that kind of mindset, you're going to be able to feel that tenuous grasp on their musical language in the presentation. You'll be able to feel that they are not sure of themselves and they're putting out a product hoping to gain listeners instead of putting out a product as a catharsis for something that you're trying to feel. It, that That's the kind of weakness we don't want to see, that humility that I'm not good enough, but I really hope I can get there enough for you guys to think that I am. That shit shouldn't belong in metal either, and in the same sense that narcissism shouldn't belong in it as well. What we want to see in our metal presentation is a bit of a divorce from the elements of humanity that make you get up day to day, the same kind of struggles that you feel punching in the clock at nine to, in a nine to five shift. We don't want to have that presented to us in, in our metal. We, we acknowledge that metal is a form of escapism like any other genre, but at the same time, it is presenting you with realities that you're trying to squash in your day-to-day -day ignorance of how existence actually works. And by coming across with that sense of humility, you're bringing an element of humanity that's gonna color your perception on how to make a metal statement where it's gonna be just rooted in this really superficial element of what humanity is all about. Something that we're just trying to not reflect what we're doing in, in, in our, our metal presentations. So that's, that's about all I wanted to say on that. I think that both the narcissism aspect and the humility aspect are just far too human to warrant any kind of, uh, any kind of exploration in the metal genre. It's, it's something that you'll see, you should see in rock because the, the, that genre is rooted in the human experience. You see it in rap. You have you know, rappers that are going on the other side of the spectrum where you know, obviously it's played out that you know, showing that you're, you're just uh, at the club with your, your $100 bills throwing it at a stripper. There's the other, other side of it where people are now rapping about having small dicks, which is funny, but it's that other side of the extreme that narcissist verse, versus humility that is going to uh, appeal to the general public. We don't appeal to the general public and we need to get those elements that do out of our metal. So that's about all I wanted to say on that. Thank you for listening.